lovers, Victoria here and you're watching My Books and Me. And I thought today I'd do my December book haul. I'm actually filming this before Christmas just to get it done and out of the way because I don't feel like I'll have time between Christmas and New Year. Um, I'm not anticipating getting any books for Christmas. That could change. If I do get something for Christmas, it'll probably be in my What I Got For Christmas video over on my other channel. Um, so I'm just going to share with you the three books I got during December. So the first book is The Legend of Ben Hall, original motion picture screenplay by Matthew Holmes. This is actually also signed by Matthew. Um, I really like The Legend of Ben Hall. It's a fantastic Australian film, a fantastic historical film. The amount of detail that went into making this as historically accurate as possible and true to history as possible is amazing. And as someone who loves history, it is very much appreciated. Ben Hall is probably one of my favorite bush rangers. And this film is amazing. I love it. So when I saw that, so when Matthew announced that he was looking at uh, producing screenplays and that it was only going to be a limited run, I think they only had 100 or 200 copies of this. Um, I jumped on and had to get it. This includes uh, scenes that were cut from the final edit of the film and then I think even some scenes and lines and stuff like that that weren't even filmed. Um, I'm definitely going to sit down. I don't know if I'm going to actually like read this cover to cover but I definitely want to sit down and re-watch the film and follow along and just kind of see um, how all of this came to life and where bits were missing and things like that. So I'm very excited to have this in my collection. This actually also came with a copy of the original motion picture soundtrack featuring uh, 15 of the scores. Um, so I'm kind of glad this is added to my collection. Uh, there was no mention when Matthew was selling these that this was going to be included, but I'm excited to have this. I really recommend if you are anyone to watch this film but particularly if you're Australian watch this film it is so so good and they're actually working on um, a Ned Kelly um, film called Glen Rowan which looks amazing um, and there's go there is planned to be two other films as part of the Legends anthology following Frank Gardner and John Vane I think it is. Um, very excited. I do hope that the other films can get produced as well because this is a really good one. Next is Ace of Shades by Amanda Foody. I unboxed this in my recent YA Chronicles unboxing. During the Black Friday sales I picked up the April box which was a little bit wicked. So go check out that video if you want to know what else I got in that box because there's some really great things in there. I've been wanting to pick up this book all year. I've just never got around to it. So when I saw that past YA Chronicle boxes were on sale I had to get it. So welcome to the city of sin where casino families reign, gangs infest the streets and secrets hide in every shadow. Ian Salter is raised as a proper young lady and no lady would willingly visit New Reigns, the so-called city of sin. But when her mother goes missing, Ian must leave her finishing school and her reputation behind to follow her mother's trail to the city where no one survives uncorrupted. Frightened and alone, Ian has only one lead, the name Levi Glazier. Unfortunately, Levi is not the gentleman she expected. He's a street lord and a con man. Levi is also only one payment away from cleaning up a rapidly unraveling investment scam, so he doesn't have time to investigate a woman leading a dangerous double life. Ian's offer of compensation, however, could be the solution to all his problems. They see their search for clues leads them through glamorous casinos, illicit cabarets, and into the clutches of a ruthless mafia donna. As Ian unearths any... As Ian, in, uh, no, as Ian unearths an impossible secret about her past, Levi's enemies catch up to them, ensnaring him in a vicious execution game where the players always lose. To save him, Ian will have to, Ian will need to surrender herself to the city and she'll need to play. Very excited for this one. Hopefully I can read it soon. I've heard really great things and I think there is a sequel coming out in 2019. Not quite sure, but very excited nonetheless. Finally, the last book was kindly sent to me from Alan and Unwin and that is Flight Risk by Michael Maguire. This book comes out on the 7th of January. Very excited because this sounds so intriguing and still very relevant to our current climate. Disgraced former pilot Ted Anderson works for a top secret government organization set up to investigate terror related incidents. Sent to Jakarta to find out as much as he can about the pilot of a vanished uh, Gawada flight. He discovers a flight simulator in the pilot department. When the investigation turns sour, Ted escapes to New York as further disaster strikes. Another plane disappears from the sky, then another. Three planes and hundreds of passengers and crew vanish without a trace. Panic is widespread and the world is teetering on the brink. Still, no one comes forward to claim responsibility. 
At an eerily deserted JFK airport trying to get a flight back home, Ted witnesses a suspicious exchange between an airport cleaner and a nonchalant pilot. He follows the pilot to his destination, a Ukraine International Airlines flight due to leave in an hour. All Ted's instincts tell him that this is the next plane to go down. But what on earth can he do? Take the flight and almost face the take the flight and face almost certain death or fly back home and wait for the news headlines. He does the unthinkable and gets on the plane. <gasps> um, when I was reading the blurb for this, it felt very much like MH370. And when I actually read the media release, that is really what is inspired. Um, on the subject of, of his new book, Maguire says the genesis of the idea was the disappearance of MH370. What if there was a sinister force behind it going missing? And what if the sinister force took place took multiple planes out of the sky. I was an aviator reporter at the Australian in the late 90s and it was one of my favorite jobs. I've always had a great interest in planes and aviation and read, and, uh, and read or read a lot about it. And read a lot about it. Um, original and utterly gripping flight risk is a white knuckle ride of non-stop suspense. I'm really excited for this. I hadn't heard about this before it arrived in my hot little hands, but it sounds so, so good. I don't know when I'm going to get to read this because I'm not necessarily in a thrillery mood. I don't know if this is the best thing to read over the holidays and the new year, but hopefully I will read it soon. It sounds really, really good. Definitely go check it out if you're interested. As I said, it comes out, out on the 7th of January. So that is it for my December haul. Obviously not many there, only three books, which is good because I don't really need any more books. Is that going to stop me from buying any more books? No. I'm sure that January will probably have more books in it because uh, Boxing Day sales are a thing and while I think this video is going up after Boxing Day I no doubt I can assure you that I'm going to get at least one book during Boxing Day sales. There are a couple I'm eyeing off so you'll probably see them in January. Anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely check out those books if you haven't already I get excited for Flight Risk coming out at the start of the, uh, start of the new year and I will see you guys in 2019 I think. Wow that's crazy. Bye!